back to my very own reading corner. So guys, today I'm going to be making a video on give it a push, give it a pull, a look at forces. So let's head on. So you guys can pause the video if you guys want to look at the table of contents. Pushes and pulls. A force is a push or a pull. Forces are always with you. They are all around you. If you've seen someone pushing a swing, then you've seen forces at work. Most of the time, you can see the cause of a force. A person pushes a swing. A truck pulls a boat. When a truck pulls a boat, you see the truck doing the pull. Sometimes the cause of a force is invisible. Wind pushes leaves across a sidewalk. The wind is invisible. Gravity pulls a paper airplane down. Magnetism holds magnet against a fridge. Magnetism pulls this magnet against the fridge. Magnetism is also invisible. Putting things in motion. Forces put things in motion. Pushing the pedal makes the tire spin. Pulling a wagon makes it roll. Pushing and pulling your pencil lets you write your name. Thanks to forces, you can write on a sheet of paper. A push moves something away from the force. So you guys can see this toy car moves away from the boy when he pushes it. A pull moves something closer to the force. As you can also see in another picture, this rope moves closer to the girl when she pulls it. Stronger forces can make things move farther. You can throw a ball across the yard with a strong push. A strong force will make a football sail far away from you. A gentle force makes things move only a little. A little push gets this boat on its way. A gentle force will make a toy boat move a short distance from you. So um, if you just give it a gentle one, it will just move shorter distance. An object's weight can change the force needed to move it. It takes a lot of force to pick up a heavy suitcase. It takes only a little force to lift a light feather. Direction and speed. A force makes something move in one direction. Another force can change it. A pitcher throws a ball to the batter. The batter hits the ball. The ball flies in a different direction. Forces change the speed of things. A strong force can make something move quickly. A strong push of bobsled makes a sled move very quickly. A strong wind makes a sailboat race across the lake. A hard pull on the wheels makes a wheelchair speed along the ground. This racer pulls hard on the wheels of his special wheelchair so he can win the race. Forces make things stop moving. A brick wall will stop a ball. The wall has a lot of force. It pushes against the ball. A tennis ball will stop moving forward when it hits a brick wall. A glass window may not stop a ball. Glass pushes against the ball too, but the ball pushes even harder than the glass. A glass window has less force than a brick wall, so a ball may sail right through it. That's bad news for whoever hit the ball because they broke the window. An object's weight can give an idea of the force needed to stop it. It takes a lot of force to stop a train. It takes a little force to stop a ping pong ball. So only something with a huge amount of force could make it could stop this train. And a small paddle is enough to stop a tiny ping pong ball. Friction. Friction is a force that slows things down or makes them stop. Rubbing your feet on the ground creates friction. The friction makes a swing stop. Friction is created when an object such as your feet rubs against another object such as the ground. Friction from the brakes stop your bikes. When you hit the brakes on your bike, the brakes rub against the wheels so then th that makes the wheels um, move slower and then eventually stop. A smooth surface makes less friction. You can easily slide on ice, but not on grass. Changing shape. Forces change the shape of things. It takes a push to flatten dough. 
It takes a pull to stretch it out. The force of the wind bends the trees, twisting a balloon changes to shapes. Forces are everywhere. They help us eat, work, and play. Nothing would happen without forces. So guys, if you guys want to do an amazing activity, you guys can just pause the video and read the directions for the activity. Here's also a glossary which you can pause to read in case there were some vocabulary words you might not know the definition for. And it's okay to so just stop and take a quick look at the glossary. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So guys, I just have one question for you guys today. And that question is, just give two examples of things um, that give, that show that are like two examples of a push or a two and two examples of a pull so guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in another awesome video bye guys